Okay, so this one came out pretty good, but there are a couple things that needed to be fixed. For starters, we wanted to take this leg geometry here and push it back so that it doesn't hit your feet. Now, we also wanted to take this radius and push it in a little bit because it was too big, so we're gonna close that window. The second version, we went ahead and cut out a Baltic instead of MDF because we thought we might nail it on the second try. We got close, but it's not perfect. There were a lot of assembly errors, some machining errors, and we're definitely gonna have to do a third version. Originally, I was gonna use this jig type assembly method, but it was clunkier than I thought, and so we're actually gonna switch back to mortise and tenons, which is what Adiz had suggested we do originally, and I pushed us to do the jig assembly. So I was wrong, but that's okay. Regardless, this method of using sub-assemblies that we mount to these outer frames is still gonna apply. It's just that those slats will be mortised and tenoned in instead of uh, only screwed in. So here using glue and alignment dowels to do the final assembly. This all came together reasonably well, but we still need to document all this so that we can train people to assemble uh, this when it goes into production. And then finishing is probably where we need to do the most work and the most documentation, just thinking through the process and the sequence. We wanted to paint this one, give it a little color, just because everything else in the showroom is already natural Baltic birch. And this came out, the quality of the finish is great, but we think that the inside faces should also be orange, potentially even the faces on the slats. So we're working on that, and we'll get to it. 